Six things to stop doing to make people respect you. Who doesn't like to be respected and treated well? Marilyn Vosavon, an American magazine columnist, author, and playwright, once said, What women want is what men want. They want respect. We all desire to be treated with love and respect, and quite frankly, every relation should rest on this. According to Philip James Bailey, an English spasmodic poet, Respect is what we owe. Love is what we give. Respect, however, cannot be given just because an individual feels they deserve it. People earn respect by acting right. Hong Kong American actor and director Bruce Lee once said, Knowledge will give you power, but character, gaining others' respect isn't about having the best credentials and qualifications possible. Yes, it might matter at first, but as soon as they discover your true character, it will mean nothing to them anymore. For instance, in a situation where a professor's student no longer addresses him properly, speaks to him rudely, ignoring his position as a professor, what do you think would have warranted such an attitude? Of course, the professor must have behaved out of place at some point. Hence, the disrespect. If you desire to be respected so much, but you cannot seem to understand why people don't respect you as much as you'd love, perhaps you are doing certain things to attract disrespect. In this video, I'll share with you six things to stop doing to make people respect you. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. You talk about yourself a lot. When you are overly self-effacing, no one wants to be around you nor respect you because all you do is talk about yourself. For every conversation or subject, you involve yourself as though you are the smartest person on earth who has seen it all. Imagine a friend of yours that has a personal story to tell about every subject and never ceases to take every available opportunity to talk about himself and his experiences. Guess what will happen next? You'll soon get tired of listening to all the is in his speech. You'd be willing to change the subject every time you notice that he is about to start a discussion about himself. So, if you're pretty self-effacing, you might want to ditch that because no one likes or respects such character in a person. 2. You waste people's time. Have you ever heard that time is more valuable than money? Theophrastus, a Greek native successor to Aristotle in the peripatetic school, once said, and I quote, Time is the most valuable thing a man can spend. Also, according to Philip Stanhope, know the true value of time, snatch, seize, and enjoy every moment of it. No idleness, no laziness, no procrastination, never put off till tomorrow what you can do today. When you fail to realize how valuable time is, you will always waste it. Now, it is not exactly a problem when you waste your own time, but wasting other people's time is such a big deal and no one will respect you for it. Charles Darwin, an English naturalist, geologist and biologist known for the science of evolution said and I quote, a man who dares to waste one hour has not discovered the value of life. 3. You're always apologizing. There is a time and place for everything. People who are always apologizing without giving it a thought are the ones least respected or not respected at all. Over-apologizing is a sign of being overly submissive. Yes, you want to be submissive, but not unnecessarily. Imagine spilling your cup of beer on your body and still apologizing to everyone in the room, even when your actions have no direct effect on you. If you want to gain respect, you'll need to save your apologies for when it is truly needed. For instance, when your beer spills on someone else as a result of your clumsiness. Learn to stop apologizing unnecessarily. Don't apologize for your mere presence, for stating your opinion, or for disagreeing. You don't need to apologize if you don't want to do something either. 4. You don't keep to your words. This is by far one of the most important actions you can take to start losing people's respect for you. Learn to always keep your promises and commitments if you want to earn people's respect. Be a person of your words. If you are finding it difficult to keep to your promises, maybe you are making too many. 
reduce it and start keeping to the few that you have promised. When people realize that you are one to keep to his words, they will respect you. 5. You're not open-minded. Do you always have the final say? No other person's opinion or suggestion is valid to you because you think that you will know it well or because you have the highest qualification in the room. Do you know what you are doing? You're saying, hey people, you don't need to respect me even though that's the one thing I desire the most. Being open-minded means acknowledging that you still have a lot to learn despite your qualifications or any other thing and you are willing to learn from anyone more knowledgeable about a subject regardless of what they have to say or what they don't. Even if you have a core belief, you can learn from others. 6. You don't know how to control your emotions. If you are someone prone to getting angry or overreacting in certain situations, people will not respect you because you don't have control over your emotions and you become illogical. Victor Sander, a behavioral scientist, while narrating his childhood experience of his inability to control his emotions, said, and I quote, I have a history of my emotions getting the better of me. I am working on it, but it has left such lasting damage that it feels like people are afraid of me. This makes me feel terrible now and have grown up. I realized the damage I made to my relationship by not having control over myself. Learn to respond to situations, not react to them. Responding to them means giving appropriate and logical solutions while reacting to them means doing the first thing that comes to your mind without thinking it through. So, if you're one to get angry easily, learn to control your temper instead of flaring up when someone annoys you. When you start doing this, people will begin to respect you. Again, remember that respect is given based on our actions or based on what we know. That you've learned how to start earning respect today doesn't mean that you'll automatically start being respected until you start practicing how to earn it. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.